Each year before the start of the season, the NCAA goes through its rule book and makes changes or provides new points of emphasis. It can be a lot for the student athletes to keep track of, which is why each year at Camp Kenosha, Pat Fitzgerald brings in a Big Ten referee to teach the changes to his team. This year, 18-year Big Ten veteran referee Bill Lamagne let our cameras listen in as he prepped the Wildcats for 2011. I think football is the most complicated game of any sport. Uh, it's the most complicated game to play, the most complicated game to coach, and definitely the most complicated game to officiate. We're going to go through a few things um, about some of the new rules. Oh, it's, it's a great help. Mr. Lamagna, he's, he's the man. We all, we all love him. And uh, it's just great to get an insight from like a true, a true referee, you know, and they actually did the national championship last year. So they know what they're doing, obviously, and uh, it's, always, it's always really useful to hear the changes. Probably the thing this, this season has been the blocking below the waist rule. And then we've also had quite a bit of discussion on the uh, unsportsmanlike conduct foul because now if a player commits an unsportsmanlike conduct foul prior to scoring, the points are coming off the board. So I guess my point is the NCAA is really getting hardcore serious about behavior on the field. The unsportsmanlike conduct penalties before he scored the touchdown was the was a new one for me, but I'm not scoring any touchdowns, so uh, it, it'll give them a real, I think, good visual picture of what it looks like and, and what they're expecting from an officiating standpoint. Now we've been coaching them that way, but a lot of times it's like when you you know you're a father, or you're a parent, and you tell your kid, hey, I don't want you hanging out with Joey, and they go hang out with Joey until somebody tells them not to hang out with Joey. It's great to have the officials in and for them to see us out of our uniforms, I think at the schools. Uh, doing meetings like this, I think there's a little more personalness to it. Uh, so I think that's a good thing. We're just not in a position where we're calling a foul on them. Uh, they get to interact, they get to ask questions. If I was just feeling you here mm -hmm. and the back came and cut you, that was a chop. Mm -hmm. and it was a situation that I was in yesterday um, and it was kind of a you know a gray area and you know it helped a lot to hear from what he had to say and you know now I can change that and just make sure I don't you know commit a foul on, on the field during a game. I don't want to throw that flag any more than I have to. You know, if I, my, my dream game will be no mistakes by the crew and we, none of us had to pull a flag out today. The reality is we're going to make mistakes, players are going to make mistakes, coaches are going to make mistakes, but let's minimize them.